going on everybody this is Ashok and here is my review of the Nits on the break that happened today I know I'm a little late with this and also tomorrow if not tonight most likely tomorrow I'm gonna to have my video uploaded talking about the Wii U update look forward to that video because that's gonna be a very interesting video uh, <laughs> but as I always like to do here's my Nits on direct wrap up and uh, I don't have everything here but these are the significant things that I just jotted down real fast um, first, they came right out the gate with Super Mario 3D World, and it looks a lot better than before. A lot better, both gameplay-wise and graphically. Now, I know a lot of you Nintendo guys out there, right? Oh, see, see, we told you you were going to flip-flop. We told No. No. To me, it's still not up to the epicness of, you know, Galaxy and Mario 64, but it still looks great. It's still going to be a fun game. I just, I guess, I don't know, I hold Mario, 3D Mario to a higher standard than you guys do, but I still don't think where it, it's, you know, going to have that same appeal and feeling of epicness and adventure that Galaxy had, but that footage definitely makes the game look a lot better than that garbage footage they showed at E3, like, holy crap. And to you fools out there like Trey, which I know is going to be on this video talking about, oh, CC, you're eating crow, you're eating crow, you're saying it looks good now. Look, people, and, and to the three musketeers, right? How are you going to say it's stupid for people to say, to judge a game based off the footage that is shown to them? That, that makes no sense. They show 3D World, I watch footage of it, I watch all the extra footage that follows after the reveal, I'm just like, you know what? I'm just not feeling that. That just doesn't appeal to me. I can't say that. We're, we're flip-flopping if we say it looks good now. That makes no sense, people. You can only judge and base, you can only gauge how something, how much something appeals to you based off what's shown of it. It's as simple as that. <laughs> it's not flip-flopping, people. But it does, it looks a lot better. It looks much more enjoyable. And it has definitely piqued my interest into that game. I saw this. I saw this footage today. A trailer changed a lot of people's mind. They went from no buy to now they're buying the game day one. So that's definitely exactly what Nintendo uh, Nintendo needed to do with that game. Uh, they showed Mario Sonic at the Olympics, and they talked about how it's going to have online. So fucking Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS has online. Mario Tennis on 3DS has online. And now Mario Sonic at the goddamn Olympics, right? A game purely for the casual crowd, right? Is going to have online, but yet 3D World does not. Which more, more hardcore, you know, gamer Nintendo fans are going to be buying. That, I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to leave it there. Um, Sonic is, is announced for Smash 4. Not very really surprising. I mean, Toon Link got announced. And we all know that's pre pretty much just because of Wind Waker HD. So it only makes sense that Sonic is in there because of Lost World. Um, he still looks like the same garbage moveset character he's always been. Every move, you know, is a, is a bullet move. Whatever, I'm not a Sonic fan. I don't care about Sonic, but this is great news for you Sonic guys out there. So I'm happy for you guys. Uh, Pikmin 3 DLC, they're, added, they're adding new challenges to the um, Pikmin 3 challenge mode. And they're also adding uh, an update to the leaderboards, things of that nature. So you can see how bad and how well everybody else is doing things of that nature. So that's cool. Um, Link Between Worlds, they talked about how you can actually choose what dungeon you want to do. So there's no longer a set order of how you want to do these dungeons. You can go to any dungeon you want, and you can buy any item you want at any time, or rent them if you don't have the money at that time. That's pretty cool, and I think that's definitely foreshadowing to what we're going to see in the future with um, Zelda Wii U. It's obvious that Nintendo is rethinking, you know, the conventional ideas, you know, of the Zelda series. So, definitely seems like, you know, Zelda Wii U is going to be a lot fresher than Skyward Sword was. Um, new Etrian Odyssey has come to the 3DS. Bravely Default for 3DS is announced for quarter 1, 2014. Um, the only gripe I have about this Direct is that they delayed Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze to February 2014. Now, I mean retro. <laughs> You already disappointed us that this was a Donkey Kong game instead of a new IP or, you know, a Metroid or whatever, right? So the least you can do is get this game out at a, at a, in a timely manner. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't see why a studio so big and a studio so talented is taking more than three years to get this side-scroller out. You see what I'm saying? 
this game should have already been out. And then they're missing the, the holiday season. So the game is missing out on lots and lots of sales. So I think this is just a missed opportunity. I'm sure, I'm sure the game is polished. I'm sure it's, it's in releasable form right now. But you just know how Nintendo is. Sometimes they're a little overly cautious. They're, you know, and Anuma said this himself. He said that sometimes we'd be trying to polish too hard when the game's already polished and finished. He said that himself, you know, so I think the game could definitely be released in December. I think they're, I think this is just a overly cautious delay they're doing here. But like I said, huge missed opportunity on the sales for this holiday season. Um, but I'm not really ecstatic for that game. I want it, but you know, I'm not really excited, excited for it. So, you know, the delay is not really, you know, killing me that bad as I'm, I'm sure it is killing some of you. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all the big significant things. Overall, it was a good direct. Nintendo did say this direct was going to cover 2013 games, um, you know, Wii U and 3DS, and that's exactly what they did. So if you were expecting anything else, of course you'd be disappointed. Now they did announce um, a new Kirby game for the 3DS, an old school, you know, uh, side-scrolling, you know, traditional Kirby game. Never get tired of those. Those always bring me back to you know the old school days, or whatever. I love those. So that was a great announcement as well. But the main thing I loved about this direct is how they actually, it, it had a nice amount of 3DS content, but the main focus, you know, was Wii U. Thank you, Nintendo. Keep that up. Keep that up. Keep the focus on Wii U because the 3DS is doing great and the Wii U is the one who needs attention right now. Now, they did not mention the update and I actually did a video about the update yesterday, but I'm actually going to redo it. But the reason why I didn't upload that video is because I knew. I knew that people were going to say, oh, wait for the Direct tomorrow. They may announce more features for the update that we already downloaded. Makes no sense. And lo and behold, right when I say that, somebody in the Skype call goes into their Miiverse, their activity feed, and they, they see a musketeer say exactly what I just said. So that's why I made sure I waited until the Direct was over to upload my video about the update. But I will be having my video about the um, update up and whatnot. So look forward to that. That's going to be a great video. Is there anything I else want to say? Oh yeah, make sure you check out Pretendo.co. This is for a site for open-minded Nintendo fans. You know, no blindness going on over there, nothing like that. So make sure you check that out. And also make sure you check out GamingRealm.com. Uh, that's this video. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'll see you fools later. Peace.